All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Demonologist. And if you're watching this video, you'll probably ask yourself, how in the world do you gain the most money in the quickest amount of time and at the same time gain the most experience and level up in the quickest amount of time? And I'm here to kind of reveal that to you. It's not really a hack or a cheat. It's more of a trick. It's more of a workaround, all right? So you can do this on any level. Easy, medium, hard. I'm going to do it on hard mode because you gain the most experience as well as the most money. You can do this with any amount of players. I'm going to do it on single player mode. So you can. So for those of you that don't have uh, a party to play with, you can do this as well. However, it is a lot easier and a lot faster if you have multiple people playing. So if you have two, three, four people playing. We're also going to use the Kurosawa House. You can also do it on any one of these levels. I'm going to use the Kurosawa House because it's the easiest for me and it's the most straightforward. You can do it on the Abandoned House if you don't already have your leveled up high enough to do the Kurosawa House. But you, I'm going to use the Kurosawa House as the example today. And you can see here we are on hard mode. I'm going to start a timer from the second that it enters the game until we banish or, or complete the ritual and burn up. The, uh, the the ghost in the game uh, and, and exercise the ghost. Uh, but to before we get into it, I want to kind of explain to you how to do it. The second you get into the game, you're going to check the ritual because you're going to have two of the same rituals. The two of the same rituals is identify the paintings and grab the katanas. Those are always, always going to be the same. There's a third ritual that does change. It could be collecting ghost orbs, collecting the dead rats. Could be a, a number of things. Um, so you want to check the third ritual. At that point, you want to quickly grab a flashlight. That's the only item that you need. That's the only tool that you need because you need the, the, the flashlight to identify the pictures and to adjust the pictures, the paintings, right? You're going to run up to the house. Before you even open the door, you're going to select whatever random ghost you want to select. We're going to probably select the Wraith in this one just because that's just the one I'm using. Uh, you could select any of the ghosts. doesn't matter. Just select the ghost. Choose the ghost. The second you pick the ghost, it's going to start up all of the rituals. You're probably not going to guess the ghost, right? If you do, great. That just gives you even more money and experience. You're probably not going to, but that's okay. It's going to start up the ritual. You're going to go in there. You're going to collect the, the katanas. You're going to figure out the paintings, and then you're going to do that last ritual, whatever it might be. You're going to set the katanas in. Change the paintings to be the correct configuration, and you're going to then uh, collect the hairpin, the, the oni mask, and the egg. Once you collect that, you can run back in there, burn up the ghost, and that will end the uh, essentially the, the the hunt. You won't you won't have to worry about it anymore. And you can do this in an average of about five minutes, give or take. It depends on. You know where the items are, where the items spawn in, and it also depends on what that third ritual is. Um, in my experience, I, the the ghost orbs was was a pain in the ass because you had to chase around the ghost orbs. It takes a little bit more time, uh, but you could average it about five five and a half minutes. I did earlier today do it under under five minutes, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get started. And right when the game is in, I'm gonna start the clock. And we're in. Let's go ahead and identify the third one. Collect the ghost orbs. Awesome. That's that's exactly what <laughs> that's exactly what I wanted. All right, we got our flashlight. We're running up to the house. Constantly run. Always have your finger on the shift button. You want to run as much as possible. Let's go ahead and open up the journal. Let's go ahead and pick our ghost. I'm gonna go with Wraith, like I said before. Excellent. And open up the door. And you see the ghost orbs. You're gonna check this painting first. There's the the skeleton hands, bottom right. That's what we need to know. We're going to look for the katanas. We'll try to pick up the ghost orbs while we're looking for the katanas. Like that, right there. Oop, going the wrong way. But the ghost, because it's so it's so early, the ghost is not currently hunting you. Got all the ghost orbs. That was perfect. That actually worked out great. We don't know where the katanas spawned in at. There's one right here. Perfect. We know that the first painting has the hand in the bottom, the bottom right. A lot of times there's a katana right here. I don't see one. We're going to check this room over here. Don't see one in here. 
That's okay. There's a painting here that we want to look at. There are four paintings, but we're only going to look at three. You only need to find three to identify the fourth one. Super easy. So that one's upside down. We have two katanas. We have bottom right, upside down. And then this one is eyes to the right. Perfect. Don't, I don't know where the last katana is currently. Owl, right there. Funny, right there. Awesome. Katana's right here. Beautiful. There, right there. This opens up. This one was upside down. This is to the right. This one right here, the hand was in the bottom right. Right there. And then this one, we don't know, but we're just going to try each one. Perfect. It was right there. And now that's open, so now we need to go find our our uh, those items. Here is the egg. Perfect. So far, it's been two and a half minutes. We're looking for the pin, the hairpin, and the oni mask. There's the oni mask right here, so we need one more item. Yep. Perfect. Oh, this is beautiful. This is so quick. This is going to be awesome. Now we just need to run back, burn up the witch, and then we'll end the, uh, that will end the, technically end a ghost hunt. It'll end the, technically the game, right, of, of this, this, this hunt. Probably didn't guess the ghost correctly, but that's okay. Boom. Three minutes and three seconds. Three minutes and four seconds once we burn that up. And then you don't need to watch it. We like to watch it. We like to watch it burn up. You don't need to watch it. You can run back to the car and then end it and then jump right back into another one. Again, we did not. We did not. Probably. Probably did not uh, identify the ghost correctly. We did choose Wraith. Let's hope we did. If we did, then we're going to earn so much money and so much experience. It's going to be crazy. But if we didn't, then I believe we'll get about 36 experience and we'll get... Um, I, I think it's close to 1500 might be might be 1250 uh, money but to do that in three minutes compared to like say a normal hunt to identify the ghost because we know how long it takes to identify those ghosts it might take you 20 30 minutes to identify the ghost and we're gonna travel back beautiful and did we identify the ghost correctly we did not but that's okay 36 experience 1350 dollars it took us three minutes and about four seconds three minutes and three seconds on my stopwatch but what do you guys think was that a pretty good and quick way to gain experience and money i think it is uh, i've done it a few times just to kind of gain that money because we know that this penthouse this new update with the penthouse it's expensive so we need that money <laughs> and our experience you know it's it's a good way to gain experience we just gained a level just in that last one and you could jump right back into it again on hard mode. Jump right back in, do it again, gain another 36 experience and some more money. But let me know what you guys think of this little workaround, this little this little trick to gain money and experience for demonologists rather than spending a half hour to 45 minutes trying to identify the ghost. Let me know what you guys think of the comments down below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and join the tethered. As always, thanks for watching. Love you all, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.